video about eight tips for this in Paris was very well received so we thought why not make another one a part two with many more tips and tricks for Disneyland Paris so come along some people like to make a planning before they go of course Disneyland Paris has got some weekly programs available when you enter the park but sometimes it's nice to have them already when you are at home well that's possible because you can also find the weekly programs online we will put a link down below where you can find them there is however a small catch the catch is the programs are on a weekly basis online version of the program is available on friday and then runs from saturday till friday again most of the times the weekly programs are a continuation of the week before the only problem is is when you're going from one season to the next season then you don't have the program so then you have to wait till it's available a question we got asked a lot is about fireworks. Where to stand if you would like to watch the fireworks? Well, the most obvious place to go and watch it is here in front of the castle. But it's not necessarily the best place to see it. I mean, uh, there's so many options. But if you would like to see it here in front of the castle, our advice is to get something in front of you. So, for example, a fence or an, uh, a trash can. It's not allowed to stand on the stages or in the gardens, but that's obvious. In front of the castle, that's where the infinity private area is. You cannot stand there unless you have an infinity card. But in the end, everywhere you stand, you can watch the fireworks show. Because the castle is really big, so the projection is also quite high. And then, of course, there's the fireworks. And it's up in the air, so you can see it wherever you are in the park. The music is played throughout the entire main street so wherever you stand you can hear the music very very well but there are more places where you can see the fireworks and we are going to show you that right now this is also a great place to see the fireworks it's in the middle of main street because you're standing a little bit further from the castle uh, you can see uh, maybe even a little bit more than when you stand right in front of it so um, halfway main street perfect place now there's another one we would like to show you. We're now at the beginning of Main Street and this is also a great place. And that's because you are almost near the exit of Disneyland Paris. When the show ends, all the people who are in front of the castle walk towards the exit and it gets really, really crowded. So when you're already near the exit, you can go outside of Disneyland Paris quite easily. So um, that's also a great spot to um, watch the fireworks. Remember that the parks open at 8.30 in the morning and close in the summertime at 11.30. So if you want to have a full day in the Disney park, make sure you get plenty of sleep. This is not what you're supposed to do at Disneyland. You should get up and go into the rides. Bringing. We did a whole video about what to bring in your backpack, so this is, um, I'll put a link in this video as well. But this is about which bag to bring. Now, you can choose between a big backpack or you can choose between a shoulder purse. It's important to choose which bag you are bringing and that's because of the rides. This backpack is quite uh, compact for a backpack and that's important because you have to get your backpack or any bag you bring between your legs inside the rides. Now this shoulder bag is of course much easier to put in between your legs when you are in a cart. So guys, not a backpack bigger than this, otherwise it will not fit inside the Disneyland carts. Being in Disneyland Paris will make you sweaty. Even when it's not that warm, you will need something to fresh yourself up. A deodorant is a very good idea to bring in your bag. Also, a perfume, your favorite smell, you can bring it with you. And that way you prevent yourself from becoming one of those smelly people in the queues. Are you looking for more fun and informative videos about Disneyland Paris? 
Check out our other episodes we know you're gonna like too. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get back to the video. So another thing to consider is comfortable clothing and especially clothing that gets you in and out of rides quickly and without a hassle. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely true. And for us women with short skirts, uh, yeah, if you're comfortable in them, please wear them, it's fine. But if you're not, uh, this is maybe too much of a hassle because sometimes getting out of the ride is not very classy in a short skirt. So keep that in mind. Another advice we can give you is um, about fast passes. Well, you might know about fast pass, that's an advice on itself. Take advantage of fast passes because they can get you into rides without waiting too long. But there's something else on fast pass, and that's the return time. On your fast pass, it says when your fast pass is valid, so between 11:20 and 11:50 in this case. But also on this ticket, it says when you are allowed to get another ticket. Coincidentally, the time to get another fast pass ticket is in this case the same as the return time. So not a very good example actually. But here's an example where it's more clear. You see that the time to get another ticket is planned much earlier than your return time. So you can already get a new fast pass before the return time of your current fast pass is over. I thought this should be in this list because it's such a good advice. So fast pass, return time, check. After a long day of walking in Disneyland Paris, it can happen to your feet that you will get some blisters. So it's always very handy to bring yourself some band-aids in your pocket, in your backpack, in whatever. Oh, there's Mickey walking over there. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Mickey. Good morning. Good morning. Mickey. Good morning. Okay, so that happens in Disneyland Paris. <laughs> so, uh, my hero. <laughs> but if you didn't bring any band-aids with you, you can also go to the first aid. And that's at the end of the Discovery Arcade, uh, next to Plaza Gardens Buffet Restaurant. For band-aids, or maybe you need an aspirin, or maybe even if something awful happens, that's where you need to go to first aid. So guys, that's our advice for you. Most people would like to have a picture of them taken, all by themselves, with a castle, or or somewhere else but if you would like to accomplish that you need to be here early because otherwise it's going to be as crowded as it is now So another thing to consider to bring to the park is a water bottle. Normally we bring our own water from our hometown and uh, I carry around a, a two liter bottle in my backpack, which is quite heavy, but no problem for me. But what you also can consider is a smaller water bottle of half a liter, uh, which has a filter option. So you can use the fountains here in the park for free water, but you get a better taste of water to drink. If you're coming from the USA to Paris uh, for Disneyland Paris, uh, it's good to know that all prices are including tax. So you don't have any um, uh, not so pleasant surprises at the end of your holiday when you look at your bill. So for example, this Olaf here, it's 19.99 euros. So that's the price. And that also uh, counts for all the food, drinks, anything you buy in Disneyland Paris is including tax. Another thing to remember to bring along to your Disneyland Paris trip is a Sharpie. Or in other words, a pen bigger than a ballpoint and smaller than a really fat marker because the characters can hold a Sharpie or a medium sized marker better than a small biro. It also works if you bring along something sturdy to write upon. So that's another tip for you. 
when you want to avoid any crowds, uh, it's best to go outside of the weekend uh, and also maybe not when it's school holiday and take advantage of the extra magic time because it's less crowded then and there's so much to do, many rides are already open and it's a great opportunity to get one of those magic photographs that we were just talking about here in the park. Uh, what do we do when we are waiting in line and we are a little bit bored? Uh, we play games. I am blue. I have most of the time two legs, but sometimes six. Oh yeah, and I'm also an experiment. Who am I? Ah, that's easy. Stitch. Battle stations. But you can also stay in the theme of a ride. For example, uh, we are in the bus Lightyear Plus, so you can ask. I'm little, I'm green, am I? And I'm saying. Uh. Uh, that was a hard one, huh? Very difficult. It's fun to play a Disney game on your mobile phone when you are standing in line waiting for your ride. It's very difficult to open a game like this because of the internet connection. So uh, put a game on your phone that's also offline available. You can always enjoy your game while standing in line. I'm playing Emoji Blitz here in the queue of Snow White and the Seven Cars. So I bought a new Emoji one and it's Snow White. And this is chosen randomly, so I could not choose. The computer chose for me. You see that? This won't be our last guide to Disneyland Paris uh, from us. So uh, stay tuned for more videos and tips and tricks. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate if you do to let us know that you like these videos and that you would like to see more of these kind of videos. And so. if you bump into us here in the park, say hi. We uh, really like your feedback in uh, real life. Absolutely. We'd like to see you guys in real life. So well, next, next time, time we'll, we'll see, see you in Main Street. Street. Bye. <laughs>